what you find in the canal. The entire traffic cone. Bunch of like floating houses. Are they boats? House boats? House boats. They look really cool. They're really unusual. We haven't seen these before yet. They've got an upstairs. Always a bit sad to see boats that have just been deserted. So much potential for adventure. Look who we've spotted! It's Holly the Cafe Boat! It's such a pretty one. We're through the floodgates now. And yeah. so we should be safe. <laughs> have these anti-vandalism keys on them because basically seems like people crank them up um, and then it drains the canal so they put these lockers on so you can't physically do it so we have a key I'm not going to show it to protect the canals um, and how they work still getting used to double locks we definitely haven't got the hang of the uh, double locks yet we're going up them Wes has been this side, we started, then he was on this side, and now he's on that side again. One of my favourite things about the canals is seeing all of the different old factories that are dotted around. So obviously these all probably used to use the canal. a bit dark now we weren't really sure where to moor because a lot of this is just concrete and it's a bit awkward mooring on that so Amy's gone ahead to scope it out there's one more lock and then I think there's quite a nice bit with some rings so we're gonna go for that instead it's this cold and the ropes are really wet there's a number on your hands holding the boat against the force of the locks Finally moored up at half four. We're gonna do a little bit more cruising tomorrow, but I think this spot's good for now. We're gonna walk into the town, grab something for dinner and then relax. We've been worried all this time because three of the locks are shut, which means that we wouldn't be able to get to our final destination of Langley Mill. And it says on the website for CRT that they're shut. And we've been really down about it that we wouldn't be able to get all the way, but a nice lady said that it's open and she went through like two weeks ago on her boat so fingers crossed it's still open and we can get to Langley Mill for Christmas Yay! also Rufus is crying because just before this we told him we were going on a walk so he's upset Rufus are we going on a walk <laughs> horns getting a little bit bit of rubbish and the inside is this little seal that is greased and I think the grease is just wearing off but we have quite a lot of it in the supply so I figured I could just whack a bit more grease on and it might make it better again that's better that actually worked 
potentially our last Christmas cruise. So Swan's coming out to see us the rest of the way. Duck is having a rest today. Come on, Swan. Beautiful. We are setting off. It's about one in the afternoon. We've had a super lazy morning. We thought we deserved it after yesterday's stress. And the day before. And the day before. So, we are cruising now, hopefully all the way to Langley Mill. So today is either going to be a very exciting day and we get to Langley Mill and everything's exciting or we get really stressed and sad because the person that told us that it was open was mistaken and it's not actually open. This morning when we woke up the boat was slightly leaning and you can see the water level has dropped by quite a lot where it's darker on the wall and somebody had left one of the lock gates open and Wes went and shut it and it stopped overflowing but yeah it's crazy how much one lock gate can make such a difference another special moment for us coming up when we were already decided we would get in a boat and we just wanted to kind of have a look we would come on little adventures and just find canals near our house and just come and walk by them and sit by them and look at it and we came to this town and i specifically remember walking down this towpath and looking at the boats going past so it's just really surreal to be here on our own boat it feels very special It is quite slow today though because when the water's shallower you don't go as fast. I don't really know why. We're taking it easy though, taking in the sights. Yeah. But we're going, our engine is going the same speed that we were going when we were on the River Trent when we were going crazy fast. we were going so slow we didn't manage to get half as far as we thought we were going to so we've had to moor up in a really random spot but it's just before the bit that we thought was closed until yesterday so it seems like a convenient spot to walk ahead see if it is actually closed and then go tomorrow morning and in the meantime we'll just take Rufus on a walk and get something for dinner back from the shop at last and look what we've managed to get fridge items woohoo as we said before we really like getting reduced stuff because it saves waste saves it from going to the landfill and also saves a fair bit of money so that's just so good now that the next few dinners are covered and also ice cream Woo! it's weird it feels like someone else's fridge <laughs> like it just this is weird, I don't know why. We're up pretty early this morning because we want to just get our Christmas cruising out of the way now. It's currently Tuesday and Christmas is on Saturday. So we want to at least get there today so we can settle down, find a nice spot and just chill out for the rest of the year. Um, no more cruising. Um, and yeah, just, just get cozy. So we are just setting off. Wes is doing the ropes. We've checked our fuel um, because we were worried that it was empty and we've still got three quarters of a tank. So I don't know whether we don't get through much fuel or whether our fuel tank's just really big, but it feels like we hardly ever top up, which is good. We were worried it was getting really low. 
Um, but yeah, we're ready to go now. the boat that we've seen in probably about three hours. Hello! This is a very low bridge. Wait. Ooh. Chimney will be all right. Made it to the last lock on the Erewash Canal, on the entrance to the Great Northern Basin and the Cromford Canal, which I believe is literally just a tiny little stretch. But hopefully there's somewhere in there for us to stay for the Christmas break. Amy's just doing the lock now and then we'll be heading in. We moored up in Langley Mill. We were hoping that there would be loads of moorings available. Whenever we Googled Langley Mill Basin, it looked like there was tons of spots, but it turns out it's pretty much all private. There's only one marked visitor mooring, and there's a which, boat in it. which is taken. And then there are two sort of bits where you can fit a boat, and we are on one of those. Luckily, the private place right next to us um, the guy from there was really lovely. He said they'd sort of keep an ear out, make sure everything was sort of safe and it should all be fine. But they are full, so they haven't got any spots free for us. So we should be all right here. I think generally we're feeling a little bit stressed because it's the first time we're both leaving the boat for any amount of time. And it's, it's also just a bit stressful when you get to a spot and it's not what you thought it was going to be. So you just feel a little bit more on edge because you had a vision in your mind and it isn't that and it is probably all fine but it's just quite stressful as much as you can look on google maps and google something and like look at pictures but until you're actually there with your boat it's hard to know what it's going to be like and mm -hmm. yeah we looked at it loads of room but no one anticipated that it was all private and that there was only one visitor mooring spot but it's probably fine and um, we're also a bit frazzled from the journey here. Yeah. Good morning. We stayed here last night and it was really nice. It was fine, it was quiet, we didn't see anyone. And we spoke to a couple of boaters that said that they would keep an eye out for us. We're right near other boats, so we feel a lot, lot better now, don't we, about leaving it here. We're right near the facilities as well, can't complain. They're literally right in front of the boat. And this morning, my mum is picking us up because we're now very close to my mum's, only 25 minutes away. So we're taking some washing and <laughs> we are sorting Christmas presents out and we're signing up to the doctors. So fun, busy morning of just sorting things out. Feeling more relaxed. 
a little bit. We are also bringing the whole gang, Rufus and Rupi to my mum's. For dupes, we want to be able to fully, because we leave the cracked doors open um, most of the time, and we want to be able to fully lock that up when we're leaving it for the first time for like a longer period. So we're bringing him with us. He's going to have a little setup at my mum's. And then also, my mum just loves Rufus anyway, so she just wants to see him. So we've had a nice cup of tea. We've been relaxing for about an hour back at Amy's mum's house. And now we are gonna go through the pile of presents. So basically we've been getting a lot of stuff delivered here because we obviously can't get it delivered to the boat. And now we're just gonna take stock of what we've actually bought. One thing that we have bought though is a little present to ourselves. It's Chugging Alongs <laughs> on your barge. It's a narrowboat board game we absolutely love chugging along. Tim and Sam, they make us so happy. And we love board games. And they bought out their own narrowboat based board game. It looks so fun. We'll put a link to their channel and the board game down below if you're interested. But yeah, definitely check them out. We love them so much and we can't wait to play. This feels weird. Getting behind the seat of a car for the first time in about six and a half months. And it's not a car I've ever driven. We're on my mum's insurance, don't worry. <laughs> We're not just robbing a random car. Amy's mum has kindly put us, or me, on her insurance so that we can borrow the car while we're nearby, nip around, do loads of jobs. So at the moment, we are gonna try and nip to a GP so that we can finally re-register for the doctors so we can get more prescriptions and hopefully get our booster jab as well. Let's go. I'm scared. Okay, so this is really weird. Getting used to things like the biting point on a car is always weird whenever you haven't driven it before. So I'm just going a couple of times around the block to get used to it. But one thing I didn't really expect is my spatial awareness because you know, driving something that's 50 foot long about four miles an hour to something that is absolutely tiny that goes way faster and is way more sensitive <laughs> it's just it's really bizarre so we got the forms to fill out for registering at the doctors so then we'll all be registered at the doctors for those that are interested we just register at the one um near my parents house and we say that we live with parents as our like main address and then just go traveling and they're absolutely fine with that then if we never need the doctors um then we can just get like a bus or a train or get it sorted while we're visiting my, my family um and also we unexpectedly got a booster jab so that's really good we sorted that out so that feels good to be uh, boosted and up to date with the vaccine. I've been going for a little while now. I'm definitely starting to feel more comfortable with driving. It feels like we're going very fast, but it's it's fine. One thing I didn't expect though is that it's really boring. And I think it's just because normally when we're driving the boat, you're always looking at something new and you've got time to kind of take it in. Whereas when you're in the car, it's just like, oh, I'm just like, I'm just waiting to get to where I want to go or to get to the next bit. And that's really weird. Like on the boat, you'd just be like, oh, I'm just gonna nip in and make a cup of tea and then I'm gonna watch some like swans. <laughs> but yeah, in a car, there's none of that. It's just concentrate like really hard the whole time until you get there. So we're in the area and we're going to look at where we used to live. We're just gonna have a drive past that old house. It's been seven months since we were in this area. So this is the house that we moved from, from to the boat as well. <laughs> Bye old home. Bye for the second time. <laughs> we were just like, oh, the garage is full. Look at the curtains. We've got a dining table. <laughs> <laughs> we made it back. 
It's freezing though, the fire's been off all day because obviously we haven't been on it, the pets haven't been on it. Um, Rufus and Rupee are spending the night at Amy's mum's house because just ferrying them back and forwards can be a little bit stressful. And Rufus is meeting Amy's sister's new puppy tomorrow, so we want him to be there anyway. So we're just getting the fire on, getting nice and warm, and then we have our Christmas live this evening in an hour. <laughs> so we're just gonna charge the batteries up, charge the laptops up, get a set up, and then probably go. We're ready to go. We've got 10 minutes till live. We're just getting a cup of tea. The setup, I think, is looking pretty good. We've got the ring light, the mic, that up. We've set up a little Christmas, our Christmas lights and stuff in the background. Got the tree, got a cup of tea. So I think everything is good to go. People sort of meet these days, and I don't really like that. Um, so running low on options, I turned to something like Tinder because it seems just like, my logic was that there would be someone like-minded who would also <laughs> do the same thing. We are on our YouTube live. Um, thank you everyone who joined and thank you to everyone who has been chatting. We have just finished the second YouTube live, our Christmas edition. Thank you so much to everyone who dropped by and said hello. We had so much fun as always chatting to you all and answering questions. Now we're just having some late dinner of <laughs> sweet and sour rice with some duck spring rolls and we're going to watch some TV. Merry Christmas to everyone from like six weeks ago. Yeah, if you're watching this, it's probably like February now. Thank you if you did join the live. It is Christmas Eve Eve today and we have my mum's car. So we are going into Nottingham because it's only about an hour on the bus and 25 minutes in the car. Um, and we're gonna get some Christmas shopping done, last minute bits. And just have a look around the Christmas market because we haven't really been able to visit that many because we've been so busy cruising. So huge thank you to my mum for borrowing us the car. It's been a lifesaver so far and we've only had it for a day and a half. <laughs> We were supposed to be doing our Christmas wrapping tonight and Amy was really confident that we had wrapping paper, but we didn't. So we've had to nip to Asda. We're finally wrapping the Christmas presents. It is about 10 to midnight on Christmas Eve Eve. And we have got many, many to do. Um, so we have our typical setup, which is I do the sort of wrapping of things and then Amy does labels and additional decorative elements. Usually we get on the dining room table or on the <laughs> on the floor, um, but we have had to adapt. So we're sat on the floor and we're using the sofa as a table. It's working out quite well. So we've got some music on and I'm just going to power through it. It's Christmas Eve and Wes is finishing off the edit um, and we're just having a super chilled out morning after a busy day on the market yesterday. Because we went to a busy place and we're visiting family tomorrow, we're going to be doing a um, home test kit. <laughs> They're not very pleasant at all though. I hate doing them. <sighs> It's already dark outside, it has been manic. We were up until about two o'clock last night, wrapping presents, but it's still not quite finished. 
and today <laughs> we really wanted to get the vlog out on time even though it's Christmas Eve so we've been just rushing to get that out the door. It's ready to go in about 15 minutes. Amy's literally just getting the post ready to announce that it's going live. And we've been really horrible in that we've been the kinds of customers to turn up really late at three different supermarkets to try and find all the remaining bits that we were supposed to get for Christmas. I'm just gonna put the shopping away and then it is Christmas chill time for us. No more stress, just relaxing. Christmas Eve picnic is ready. Merry Christmas Eve! <laughs> Christmas cassettes! <laughs> Rufus, is it Christmas? Yay! Is it Christmas? Christmas walk! We're going on the Christmas walk! Oh yeah! It's Christmas! <laughs> it's really cold. It's pretty wet. The weather's pretty miserable. It's pretty slippery. <laughs> that doesn't matter because Today, we're just gonna be lounging around, eating, <laughs> sleeping. So the plan is we're gonna to go to Amy's mum's shortly. We're gonna do our little presents on the boat first, and then we're just gonna grab what we're gonna have for breakfast over there and drive there. And then that's basically it, isn't it? Just chill. For chill the for the, the rest of the day, Christmas movies, open presents from the family. And then we're gonna stay there tonight as well. So before we leave, we're going to run the engine, make sure there's enough batteries for the fridge and just do things like the stone ground to make sure our home doesn't sink while we're gone. I think I'm a little bit nervous about leaving the boat. It's the first time I've stayed, um, stayed away overnight in about seven months. Amy's been away from it, but we haven't both been away from it. So I suspect we'll probably both be feeling a little bit anxious about that. But it should be fine. The area seems lovely. We've been here for a little while now. Can I open my me? Swanky Doc Martins for the towpath mud. Nice. <gasps> Yay! So it's a sun catcher thing um, with like a little crystal, and you make your own, and it make it reflects beautiful like reflections on the sun, on the window. to leave the boat for the first time. I'm really nervous. I don't know why, it's probably fine. There's nearby boaters and everything sorted, but it <sighs> feels weird. Just giving the stern gland a twist. This uh, hopefully doesn't drip too much. We needed Look. some proper ones. Oh. When you're doing the ropes and that, that'll be so good. Look how good this is! Thank you, Charlie and Ryan. That's so good when I'm taking that is good. 
You can see you got a present from Jess. Whoa. <laughs> Yay! Everything's fine and safe. Fridge is still on. Turns out I left the inverter on though. But I only went down to 12.1, which isn't as bad as I thought it would have been had I known I'd done that. So I'm gonna run the engine for a bit, charge them back up because we're at my mum's tonight. Busy, busy, busy. It's freezing in here. It's freezing. I'm all wrapped up. Wes is gonna just turn the. What's it? Turn it, Bob. So the turny bob and then we're going to visit Wes's family for Boxing Day. We came back to check on the boat and it's all fine. We arrived at my mum's and my other sister is there as well. So I think it's just going to be chilling, watching movies tonight. Also we've got Burger King on the way because we haven't really eaten. Thank you to this week's donations from Danny, Angela and Dan. Thank you all so, so much. We hope you enjoyed watching our very first Christmas aboard our narrowboat. Thank you very much to Nick for comment of the week and we hope to see you next week. <laughs>